One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. Grace does not exempt us from righteous living. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to verse number 6, King James Version. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to verse number 6 is a glorious chapter of the Bible that gives us our eternal hope and reason for celebrating as children of God. We are saved by grace and not the deeds that we have done. Remember, Paul spends the duration of the chapters leading up to Romans chapter number 6 showing the Jewish people that their works in regard to obeying the law of Moses will not establish righteousness in God's eyes. Instead, righteousness comes from being a follower of Christ in faith. Romans chapter 5, verse 9, verse number 10, and chapter number 10. So Paul is showing the reader that the works of Christ on the cross of Calvary and dying for us there causes us to be forgiven by God. This is what grace is. It is to receive the favor of God without earning it ourselves. Christ earned it for us. But notice something else that Paul stated in Romans chapter 6, verse number 6, and the duration of the chapter. He said, henceforth, we should not serve sin. That is a call for discipleship after the initial application of grace in our lives. Discipleship is to deny ourselves, which is nothing but loyalty to Christ through obedience to the New Testament, Luke chapter 9, verse 23, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to verse number 3, Colossians chapter 2, verse 14, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24. Yes, grace can be lost when we stop believing in Christ and or purposely living in rebellion without turning back to the Lord before it is too late, Galatians chapter 5, verse 4, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 39, Acts chapter 8, verse 22. 1 John chapter 1, verse 7 to verse number 10. Grace continues to give us the time and space to come back to God after we have strayed as a Christian. However, we can fall from grace if we choose to do so. This is why we must stress obedience as it is stressed by the New Testament writers as much as grace is brought to our attention. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.